Hello beautiful creatures! Thanks for watching my video again. So for today, what I'm going to do, I'll show you how to create a maroon eyeshadow um, smoky eye look. So first step, I'm going to apply foundation and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Matte. And this is basically their mattifying infallible foundation number 24 golden beige. I love this foundation by the way, it's one of my favorite foundations of all time. And um, why? Because it's incredibly matte and it will really give you a fresh look, you guys. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Now, if you have an oily skin, this foundation is perfect for you. It will definitely give you a fresh look and it will stay matte the whole day. So trust me, I've been using this foundation for a long time now and uh, it's still my favorite, you guys. I tried a lot of foundation and in terms of um, mattifying foundation, this is my number one. It's very good and it's uh, affordable. Alright, so next I'm using a concealer and I'm using the Infallible L'Oreal More Than Concealer. This is their new concealer, you guys. And I purchased the uh, brighter shade. Uh, why? Because I need a brightening effect um, basically here under uh, eyes, okay? So I'm just going to apply that over here. As you can see, it's incredibly bright, but that's what we want. Alright, so next I'm just filling in my eyebrows. Alright, since we do not have a topic for today, you guys, let's talk about the places I've been. So basically the uh, countries or the cities I've actually uh, visited this past few years. Now you see, if you have anything that you would like to talk about, uh, anything really. So say for example, if you have, um, you know, problems about love, about life, you know, these kind of things, you can feel free to message me. Feel free to comment down below, then we can uh, discuss that over here. And you know, if you want it to be anonymous, that's also a possibility. Just feel free to comment down below what you would like me to discuss about. I think that it's uh, really fun if I'm doing my makeup, but at the same time, if we have a topic for today. I think one of the countries that I've visited that is actually close um, to the Netherlands, uh, that's of course Germany. I went, uh, let's have a look. Um, Dusseldorf, okay? That's a really nice city, you guys. I uh, particularly like the uh, separation of old and new town. And uh, if you have a lot of money, you can definitely visit the Konegsale. That's uh, basically, you know, a luxurious, luxurious shopping area, you guys. There you can see um, a lot of um, high-end products or high-end brands, you see? From Burberry, from Dior, from... Uh, Tiffany, all these things, okay? So if you're loaded, it's the place to go. I also like Dusseldorf when it comes to a Christmas market, you guys. Um, it's huge. I uh, actually really like, uh, for example, eating the uh, fried potatoes there. And you have the apple mousse as a sauce. And that one is, is amazing. Not to mention the uh, breadwurst and everything. So they, have, they are basically selling a lot of um, um, parafernalias during the winter time, Christmas stuff, but also glue wine. Okay, glue wine is actually a thing as well. Wow, I could really use a cup right now. It's basically, what is glue wine? It's basically just a warm red wine, you guys. Um, I think there's also a white wine version and there's also a kinder punch. So uh, that's basically, uh, I think it's without alcohol if I'm not mistaken. The one that I'm not really fond of was this eggnog um, drink. Yeah, I, I was not a fan of that one. But in terms of glue wine, yes, you can count me in. But I think the best Christmas market that I've actually visited was um, the one from Aachen. I, I believe that's the biggest Christmas market, you guys, in, uh, in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. So don't quote me on that one. But I actually really like it because when I was doing my master's degree in Maastricht, it's uh, rather close. So I would travel there and uh, enjoy a uh, cup of glue wine. So Aachen is also very good. Also with um, their printen. Printen is like it's a type of cookie wherein they bake it with uh, different types of spices. It's so delicious. It's like ginger, co gin ginger cookies. I'm not sure, but I do believe that they only sell it in Aachen. I'm not sure, maybe they have geographical indication on, the, on this one, but um, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a reason to visit Aachen. Next, eyebrow gel. And I'm just going to 
apply that now now try to apply this only once because if you apply it two to three times it, it will really look super wet and you don't want that you just want it to be uh, lifted but at the same time um, neatly done as well because when it becomes wet it's like all over the place good next we are going to prime our lids and i'm using the same primer which is from urban dk so next what i'm going to do i will apply the one from catrice and this is their new dilution loose powder transparent matte look at this and inside is basically a uh, translucent powder so it looks like this like cornstarch you guys but but very effective i try this a lot of times sometimes i don't necessarily wear um, foundation at work and um, and i will just apply this basically so bake it so basically this is like the baking method you guys i'm just going to apply that here right because we're doing smoky eye so you do not necessarily want to have um, a lot of fallout so we can brush it out later whoopsie All right, so we can leave that there. Um, what I'm going to do next, I will apply uh, the eyeshadow. And what do we have here? What am I going to use? Yes, so I'm using basically the um, uh, maroon color and this is what I have here. So if you have something like this, similar color, um, feel free to use it. So I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. This one got a bit of a gold shimmer in it, which makes it incredibly pretty. So I also went to Munich, you guys, and Munich is amazing too. A very cozy city. Um, I love the food there. I think that um, it's really something that you have to visit. Beautiful uh, buildings, beautiful churches. Um, yeah, I like Munich a lot. And I also went to Cologne, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful dome. Um, I really enjoyed it. I remember that we booked a really nice hotel when we visited um, Cologne. So um, I would like to come back. And after Cologne, I also went to Berlin. Berlin is full of history, you guys. And again, I enjoy the separation of old and new town as well. Next, using the same shadow, I'm also going to apply that in the lower lash line. Next, I'm using again my modern renaissance and I'm just uh, basically going to use the love letter over here. So deep red uh, maroon color just to basically highlight the uh, outer corner of our eyes. So recently I also visited um, Prague, you guys. It's a um, city in uh, Czech Republic. Beautiful, beautiful. Eas easily top three. Okay, so if you like the vibe of uh, Disney with uh, amazing castle, just beautiful, very magical, then it's the place to go. Um, for me, I particularly like the, uh, the city, um, the food. I like the goulash and, and not to mention the earrings, you know, made of granite. Beautiful. Only in Prague, in Praha. So what I'm doing right now, I'm not picking up more eyeshadows. I'm just basically uh, softening the uh, edges just to blend that a little bit to create this uh, smoky look to it. Now, this is actually a really nice color, you guys. The combination of um, the Anastasia and the Korean eyeshadow palette. Beautiful. The next I'm going to do the same. I'm uh, using the love letter again just to um, also darken the uh, outer corner over here. Just to give a bit of definition. All right, so next I'm just swiping this one off in case of any fallouts. Whoop! Then it leaves you with a really smooth under eyes. Next, I'm using the one from Clio Pro Single Shadow, and this is the uh, G06 color. And I'm just going to use my finger on this one to create a bit of glitter on top of the lid. Just to have a bit of a popping color over here. So that's done. I will just use a black eyeliner to basically draw a line on top of our uh, lash line. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to smoke that out a little bit. So smudging it a tiny bit. And I'll also apply that in the waterline. Now try to also um, blend that in. 
The idea is, of course, you have um, a combination of the maroon color and a little bit of black, but not too much, okay? So just try to smudge that a little bit. This basically is the key to the uh, smoky eye look. And I'm just going to uh, draw another line just to finalize the uh, um, definition here in the waterline. Next, blush on. I'm using the one from Catrice and this is a different one. It's called um, Water and Sweat Proof, but this one is, um, I don't know what shade is it, Golden Coral, okay? So it has this super woman to be inside. Super woman to be. I like that. I'm just going to apply that over here. Now, I totally forgot. This should have gone first, but um, we're going to just contour a little bit just to snatch our cheekbone. Now let's talk about Italy, you guys. Now I love Italy. I actually went to Capri last time and uh, this island is just so beautiful. Very touristic though, I have to say. I went there in um, August and with so many people, I've never seen like it. But, but, um, totally worth it though. Very expensive, I have to say. Um, but you know, uh, there's a lot of things to see best place to actually uh, swim and um, yeah it's, it's an alive island i love it and i actually went to uh, um, anna capri as well so basically these are the islands close to it and um, yeah restaurants are uh, there are some cheap affordable ones but also um, very expensive ones i remember that i dined in one of the restaurants where you have the most amazing view where you can actually see the, Parag the paraglione was beautiful um very memorable trip but expensive so next i'm just going to apply a highlighter and i'm using the mono eyeshadow of clio i'm just going to use my finger on this one because it applies best with um my fingers so this is a mono eyeshadow but still the best highlighter there is it basically is a very fine milled glitters and it really looks like you just uh, came out of uh, the gym that you're just basically sweating but only in this area very beautiful look at that look at that isn't that incredibly blinding look look at okay so i'm just going to apply my uh, fake eyelashes and i'll be right back all right so lashes are on and i'm going to apply the maybelline new york and this is the color drama um, intense velvet lip pencil. I'm just going to line my lip with this one. And next I'm just going to apply a gloss on top of this one. So as I've said you guys, my travel to Italy, I always love it because you know the Italians, they just know what they're doing with their food. I love the pasta, I love the pizza and everything. So, you know, I always enjoy going to Italy, you guys. Um, aside from the fact that I feel like um, it's the Philippines of Europe, really, because of the weather, the friendly people. I know for a fact that Italians, for example, they enjoy their long lunch. And it's similar to uh, the Philippines as well, uh, where we have our own um, lunch time. So uh, that I really do enjoy. And I always feel at home whenever I'm in Italy. What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to clean up the edges of the lip by using this um, infallible morning concealer and I'm just going to use a small brush for this one. Alright, so this is the final look you guys. So I hope that you like this burgundy uh, smoky eye makeup look. Um, give it a try if you like to, for example, go to a party or any occasion really. This would look good to everyone. Now, please comment down below if you have tips on uh, where I should go next in terms of uh, best city or best country to actually visit. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, be kind to each other and let love supersede at all times. Bye guys, see you in my next video, bye!